third one is hyper parasite third one is hyper parasite so simply the parasite which is living inside a parasite is called as hyper parasite a parasite which parasites on the another parasite is called as hyper parasite means a parasite is living as a parasite on the another parasite is called as hyper parasite okay so here generally if you take nosema notabilis nosema notabilis so nosema notabilis which is a nidosporan parasite belongs to the what nidospora so nosema notabilis is a parasite on the spirospora polymorpha spirospora polymorpha okay and spirospora polymorpha is a parasite on it lives inside the urinary bladder of toad fish urinary bladder of toad fish sir here nosema notabilis spend its life as a parasite in the spirospora polymorpha spirospora polymorpha is also a nidosporan is also a nidosporan and it lives as a parasite in the urinary bladder of toad fish sir urinary bladder of toad fish this is called as host toad fish is the host spirospora polymorpha is the parasite and nosema notabilis is a hyper parasite nosema notabilis is called as hyper parasite what is the meaning of hyper parasite it is a, it, it spends its parasitic life on another parasite so nosema notabilis spend its life as a parasitic mode of life in the spirospora polymorpha spirospora polymorpha is also itself parasite in the urinary bladder of the toad fish so a parasite parasites on the another parasite is called as hyper parasite this phenomenon is called as hyper parasitism if a parasite is living as a parasite on another parasite that mechanism is called as hyper parasitism and that parasite is called as hyper parasite so this is about the hyper parasite next digenetic parasite what is this digenetic parasite okay a parasite that completes its life cycle in two hosts a parasite which completes its life cycle in two hosts di means two so the parasites which completes their life cycle in two hosts they are called as digenetic parasites digenetic parasites for example if you take plasmodium vivax what is this parasite sir plasmodium vivax it completes its life cycle in man and anaphilis mosquito okay now so plasmodium vivax completes its life cycle in man and anaphilis mosquito okay next if you take ucaria bancrofti ucaria bancrofti so ucaria bancrofti also completes its life cycle in two hosts one is man second one is culex mosquito which mosquito culex mosquito so these are the digenetic parasites so what are the digenetic parasites the parasites which completes their life cycle in two hosts are called as digenetic parasites okay now next monogenetic parasites what is the next thing monogenetic parasites so the parasites which completes their life cycle in one host the parasite which completes its life cycle in one host they are called as monogenetic parasites they are called as monogenetic parasite example ascaris lumbricoides ascaris lumbricoides so ascaris lumbricoides completes its life cycle only in one host that one host is man sir that one host is man next if you see entamoeba 
if you take entamoeba histolytica so this also completes its life cycle in one host that one host is man what is that one host man so this is about the types of parasites there are different types of parasites are there first type ectoparasites the parasites which are living on the body surfaces of the hosts are known as ectoparasites example head lice of the man itch mite on the man these are ectoparasites of man ticks on dogs ticks on dogs and copepods on marine fishes are the ectoparasites next one endoparasites what is the endoparasites the parasites which are living inside the host body are called as endoparasites whether they are living inside the cell whether they are living in the tissues or body cavities based on that phenomenon endoparasites are three types how many types three types if that parasite is living inside the cell of the host inside the cells of the host that is called as intracellular they are called as cytozoic parasites or intracellular parasites right if you take the example plasmodium vivax it is living inside the rbc as well as liver cells if that parasite lives in in between the cells or in the tissues they are called as intercellular parasites or histozoic parasites sir if you take ukraria bancrofti and entamoeba histolytica are the histozoic parasites next if you take coelomic parasites coelomic parasites which are living inside the cavities of the host's body are called as coelomic parasites example ascaris lumbricoides next hyperparasite yes parasite which spends as a parasitic life on the another parasite is called as hyperparasite sir nosema notabilis is a hyperparasite it living in the spirospora polymorpha as a parasite and spirospora polymorpha is a nidosporan parasite which is living in the urinary bladder of the toad fish next there are again two types of parasites are there digenetic parasites if the parasite completes its life cycle in two hosts they are called as digenetic parasites if you take plasmodium vivax is a parasite which causes malaria to the man it completes its life cycle in two hosts one is man second one is anaphilis mosquito next if you take ukraria bancrofti which causes filariasis disease to the man it also completes its life cycle in two hosts one is man second one is culex mosquito monogenetic parasite the name itself indicating mono means single the parasite completes its life cycle in one host so they are called as monogenetic parasite ascaris lumbricoides only it completes its life cycle in the man entamoeba histolytica so it completes its life cycle only in the man so these are all the types of parasites okay let us see types of hosts